so there's that's the if I were to go left, that's the um sawmill. The lumber yard. That's the lumber yard. The GPS routed me to that last place in such a weird way. It was like trying to get me to cross the train tracks, but there was a train. And I know where that place is at. But I had to backtrack. Because I was just gonna follow the GPS. And then I got there and there was a train. I was like, oh no. It's kind of why I like working in this town that I'm from because then when the GPS isn't telling me the right place or telling me a weird way to go, I can like figure it out more easily. I guess I just made the block because that's where I was just at a minute ago. Let's see, let's go this way. I hope the train's not down here. Oh no, we'll see. Okay, look at that, it passed. Could have just waited on it. That's the thing, it's kind of a gamble. You don't know. Mm, go! What the frick? <laughs> that was very rude. Yeah, that train was there. Actually, yeah, 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 yeah. That train was there. It was trying to get me across down here. So I go around. To my left is the housing authority. Imagine people live in those storage units, and I know for a fact people live in that hotel, motel, up on the hill here. What is this person's deal? I think I'm just still salty about the fact they were like holding me up on the tracks. Got Dollar General to my right. This is kind of considered the hood, like... I wouldn't go into that Dollar General. And the McDonald's. Every time I go into McDonald's to do DoorDash, they're like, What's the number? Because they think- Because I guess people come in and try to steal the DoorDash orders. But the other McDonald's, they don't care. I guess literally be like, oh, I'm a DoorDash, and they're like, here you go. This building directly in front of me used to be a Kroger. And then a few years back, they changed it. And they, they closed Kroger a long time ago, but then a few years back, they opened a tractor supply company. I mean, it was a bank, and then got the library back there. Napa Auto Parts. There's a museum beside the library, some sort of house. There used to be a peach tree there, but they cut it down. My dad used to go there and get as many peaches as he could, and then he'd make wine and sell the wine. He wasn't even legally selling it, he was just selling it to like his friends and stuff, which you're not, you're not supposed to do that without a license, but he was doing it anyway. I think that's probably why they cut it down. <laughs> Because it was fine, like homeless people and stuff would come get peaches, and they were fine with that. But he would come clear the tree as soon as they were ripe. And then would sell the wine that he made with it. Oh, okay, I got really lucky. I forgot to look at those new cars coming. They used to have scooters, the electric scooters through here. They had them for like six months and now they're gone. I don't know if people were tearing them up or stealing them or what was happening.
but now I know how to get to that section without crossing train tracks if I need to get back there and there's a train. Just took me a minute to figure it out. That building up there, it's the Hughes Animal Hospital. The building used to be different, but they like changed it. They might have even, no, actually they tore down the building that was there. There was a KFC there. And then they put the animal hospital there. It's kind of trippy being up on that hill and seeing the cars come by. It feels like you're gonna just like fall off. Body Works. That's a little family owned gym. They have a pool in there. That's why the building is so big. I used to have a membership there, but they seem to be focused mostly on bodybuilding. And I'm really not into that. So I got an anytime fitness membership instead because it's a lot cheaper. Plus I got like the new year discount. So that was good. This building on the right is uh, ASU Three Rivers. Arkansas State University, Three Rivers. That building was a bank, and then back, further back is the actual main campus where they they have the building for the school, and then they added another building. There's like three build, three or four buildings back there. That's the school, and then they bought the bank. And um, it used to be just a trade school, two years. Or not just, it wasn't a trade. You could get your associate's degree do stuff like welding, or I did computer science, mechanical electronics, nursing, hair, or beauty school, I mean, you can get your hair cut back at the, at the college pretty cheap. That's the fairgrounds. They had a lot more stuff out there yesterday. I guess they're cleaning it up today. Is there an auction? 